Welcome back, data download time. As the Republican Party gears up for 2024, they can't seem to leave behind the 2020 presidential election, with many Republicans still refusing to accept or acknowledge that Biden actually won over Trump. In fact, just last week, the Colorado Republican Party decided to select an election denier to be its chair, following the state parties in Michigan and Kansas that both did the same last month. This is after the 2022 election result. And new data from some researchers at Stanford University shows that the political pickle the Republican Party has put itself in when it nominates these election deniers. It hurts them at the ballot box. Look, these election-denying Republicans, according to these Stanford researchers, they do get a two percentage point bump in primaries. But what happens is even if they get the nomination, it costs them, by an average, 2.3 percent. They did this study across the board. Obviously, it'll go up and down. Let's look at these gubernatorial candidates. All of these folks, from Kerry Lake to Tim Michaels to Dixon to Mastriano in Pennsylvania, they all benefited from being election deniers. They won their primary because of it, thanks to that and a Trump endorsement. And look, Look what 2.3% might have been the difference if she wasn't an election denier. Kerry Lake might actually be governor of Arizona today. The Wisconsin race would have been a coin flip. Obviously, uh, this is on average, so I don't know if it would have closed the mark there in either Michigan or Pennsylvania, but it certainly would have changed the landscape there. And what does 2.3 percentage points mean? If this is, this is what the overall data says, well, look at this. In the 2020 presidential election, these are the states that were decided by less than three percentage points. So the Republican Party has to ask itself, election denialism, is this the road to 270 in the Electoral College? According to this map, it is not. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.